thing sometimes. HBO's Big Little Lies ended Sunday night with viewers finally learning who dies and how in the seven episode murder mystery. And The Hollywood Reporter has you covered with our critics take on the series as well as interviews with director Jean-Marc Vallée and Alexander Skarsgård on whether fans can expect more episodes in the future. But before we go forward, spoiler alert for all seven episodes of Big Little Lies. Okay, at the school's trivia night in the finale, Nicole Kidman's Celeste tells her husband Skarsgård's Perry that she's leaving him after countless acts of abuse. Jane, played by Shailene Woodley, realizes Celeste's husband is the man who raped her. The two women team up with Reese Witherspoon's Madeline and Laura Dern's Renata. And it's Bonnie, played by Zoe Kravitz, who steps in to help by pushing him to his death, literally. These women are so powerful, says Valet, who directed all seven episodes. Together, they are as powerful as the ocean, and the ocean is effing angry. The audience felt anger too, with Perry constantly causing his wife so much physical and emotional pain throughout the series as the show tackled the real life issue of domestic abuse. I wanted to give the impression to the audience that we are with Celeste. We are in her head. We see what she's thinking and we feel for her. The violence was tough. It feels so real. You feel like you don't want to be there and you don't belong there. It feels uncomfortable. It's real, Valet explained. As Skarsgård tells The Hollywood Reporter, it's obviously a huge problem in our society. He goes on to emphasize the importance of telling this type of domestic abuse story on television. It's very important. It's stigmatized. Wives are protective of their husbands, and in certain cases, they blame themselves. They don't really see themselves as victims sometimes. It's important to reach out and to have someone help you and talk to someone who can get you out of it. It's not your responsibility to change another person. Skarsgård also called his character's death brilliant. When asked if there could be more episodes, he points out, it was set up as a miniseries. That was always the intention, to leave it with them on the beach and living with this secret and accepting that and moving on with their lives. It leaves it open-ended in a way, but there's no cliffhanger for another season or anything. Valet explains that the open-ended conclusion was on purpose and the last we should ever see of Big Little Lies. We think, did they do the right thing? What will happen? Now it's up to the audience and their imagination to figure out. To do a season two, I'm not for it. Big Little Lies 1 is a one-time deal. As for the quality of the quote-unquote one-time deal, The Hollywood Reporter critic Daniel Feinberg says, the HBO drama wasn't always subtle and it was full of contrivances, but the magnificent performances from Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman and several others gave it unusual emotional urgency. He feels Kidman and Witherspoon should battle it out for a Best Actress Emmy trophy. Head to THR.com right now for a lot more coverage on Big Little Lies. In the meantime, what's your take on the series? Did you watch it? Will you go watch it now even though you know the ending? Let me know in the comments, guys. For the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Paul Costable. See you guys.